Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here and welcome to Wick, a horror adventure game where you play a candle that must try and survive in a very bad place, a bit like Little Nightmares, but with a candle instead. Hmm. So is that what I'm staying on? Is that a checkpoint or is that like a health regeneration? It also look, looks like there's some kind of weird plague going around. There's a uh, person holding a candle on that mural. I'm assuming that's a checkpoint. Yeah, see, I'm going down. John Wick. <laughs> John Wick is always melting. Regain your wax at wax pools. Let me see how fast this goes down. I kinda wanna see. You can jump, you can sprint. Relatively fast, actually. Look, we're already... already halfway down. And then it regenerates all the way up. That... That looks actually kind of a little weird. It's an interesting mechanic, but it looks a little weird in practice. Anyway, let's keep moving. We can't enjoy the atmosphere too much, or we will die. Looks like... They are treating people here. I wish I could get a better look. Well, you have to grow your flame and run faster. I'm assuming if I'm sprinting, maybe I'll burn out faster, too? Looks like they made some... They might have made some dark deals they shouldn't have. So, we have respawned from another candle. Interesting. And that door is open. So that's... if you want to hide. I'm assuming they can't see us if they can't see the flame. Interesting. So it looks like there was a plague. They did some dark pact. And then, uh, things just went downhill from there. Just sneak on by. Oh, they need to activate this. Oh, wait. What? We're dead. I actually got, like, sucked in. So I guess how many candles are left or how many lives we got. Well, 
little buggy over here. Okay, we don't need to um, take that off, I guess. So maybe we should get moving, so it looks like it's coming our way. If we keep this on, maybe we're okay. I'm trying to think the disadvantages of not... Maybe we douse ourselves quicker. Yeah, that's low. He hurt us. Boy, we're gonna die naturally anyways here at this rate. Got... Well, it, it senses us just fine. I guess it, it can just see us. I thought they were blind, but they're not. Yep, ran out of time. Wait till you go up. Drop down, get in here. They're safe underneath things mostly. I'm assuming they can reach in there eventually. Generate our candle. We've got company. No, I'm not here. I'm not here. I should probably just run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't get me. Nope, nope, nope. I'm just gonna run to the next one. Yeah, I ain't stopping. You're not that fast. Oof. Press Q to make a buddy. Use the arrow keys to move. Oh god, we're sacrificing one. We're a monster. Or a candle. Getting over here. Or you getting doused and you go back. We don't last very long without our wax. Checkpoint. Okay, we're good. So now we can go for that table. Generate. Feels like I'm a fish out of water in a lot of ways. Like, a fish out of wax. Man, we just want to light the place. Why don't they keep attacking us? They're dropping down. I see uh, evil flies over there. Oh. Let me see something. Go over here and. Oh, come follow me. I'm running away. Oh. Put this on. We're gonna go by. A 
I'm trying to be if we can I think we can just walk under them. Neil Barbarous. As long as we keep the light hidden. I'm not here Oh nope, nope, they can see me just fine. Okay. I think I might have to sneak for you guys. Ow. Oof. Stop it. <laughs> Last time I tried sneaking through, they spawned me just fine. Hmm. Just time they aren't doing it. Maybe it was just a bug when they got me that one time. Oof, it was close. Alright, let's go. Maybe if everything's lit symbolically, it's gonna, like, fix this place. Oh, there's more mosquitoes here. Is a mosquito? I'm not sure. I think a fly would be more fitting thematically. That on. Wait for it. Not yet. I've seen these nurses. Still grab me even when I'm in stealth mode, just fine. It might be when I'm moving, and maybe it reveals the light sometimes. So that's kind of clipping through. That one, but I'm not gonna make it this rate. Oof. It's a long hallway down there. Let me walk as far as I can with a faster speed, then cover it. Yep, no, nope. nope. No, go for the. L Damn. So I'm just gonna run through here. This works a lot better. I need. I need wax. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> now, where should I go? Not much wax in here, but just enough. Just in case you're trying to reach through. Excuse me. Charge my wax. Let's go. Good thing there's so much wax around, huh? Like an unusual amount of wax. Friends. Try 
can't think where to go next. Wait for it. Right here. Heal up and then get ready to go under here. Just guarding it right now. I keep blocking it. I need to like distract her. A little buddy. Hey, how you doing? Well, I didn't last long. Definitely seems like our goal is to essentially bring the light back into this forgotten and cursed place. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope, there's a lot of, a lot of mosquitoes. I'll need to stealth for this, but let's send a little friend over first. Over here. Attack me, come on. You don't wanna. Well, you're just gonna hover around me. That's cool, too. God, there's so many. Seriously, guys, guys, come on. Go. Incoming. I need candle wax. I need candle wax, Prano. It's in this air. Uh, here, eat this. Okay, we're good. Let's go. You. No. It seemed like lighting up that last part was pretty important. Unless we were in the catacombs.
It's in wax. It senses me. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Ooh. Next room. They're not gonna send rats at me or anything like that, are they? Candle eating rats. Yeah, that's right. You you go for that little one. I'll just be over here. Hopping away. Dang. Someone that really had a bone to pick with us. Keep going. Don't even bother stealthing that. Just keep going. <laughs> Man, we're trying so hard. We just want to, like, be a good candle. Behind us, we're gonna keep going here. Offensive stealth. Okay, run. I'm not sure if we'll make it to the top in time. Almost, almost, almost. Ooh. Okay. That looks like an altar right there. Let's light this place up. Almost looks like a boss arena, right? It was symbolic. We were bringing the light of God to the, uh, the the mission or the church here. And then the, I'm not sure if you would call it a nurse or a nun. Maybe it's both. Um, I, I forget my the 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 outfits and what what the outfit means. But anyway, they they are seeking out the candle because they are seeking out the light of God, which they have lost with whatever pact they have made to try and cure this plague. So when the, the priest in the mural was carrying the candle, he was carrying the light of God, see? And it's got some, it's got some thought to it. You could vaguely argue that maybe the, the spirit of the priest is in that candle. It's continuing on his mission, per se. Because it shows him holding it, and you see him like under like rubble or something. It looks like he has like the plague or the, the demonic infection or whatever. So that's it for Wick. 
Uh, this is actually is a free horror game, and this was actually made by some uh, student game designers. So that's why it would probably, you know, it's a little bit short. But it's all attempt at a, a kind of Little Nightmares style game. Although due to its length and its um, kind of stature and like how it was, it's kind of its structure, I would say. It, there's a little bit of a um, unfinished feel slightly, but it, like I said, it, it's a student project. Uh, obviously you can't do too much in the uh, 20 minute to 30 minute span of a game. So you don't see many variances in say like the mechanics or challenges or like the enemies or anything. But that's all right, you know, what I played was actually pretty fun. And the aesthetic design, I I'll give them actually quite a bit of credit. The, the candle, the way it lights up the room it, in particular is actually fairly neat. That, that I don't think I've really seen something quite kind of whimsical like that. Um, of course, I don't know if there's, I think there's actually is a couple of candle games out there. But um, I'm not sure it's when there was like a mechanic where you're running two wax pools to recharge your wax. It's a little interesting. Although I do think there is a slight drawback to a time mechanic like that, and that you cannot, it, it doesn't let you soak in things quite as much. So it would, it would punish you for trying to say, take your time, which is obviously the goal, but sometimes taking your time is, makes things a little more scary and more tense. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna compare this to Little Nightmares because I think this is that's the game they're obviously influenced by in this and the libraries had a certain pacing where every kind of hiding spot is in a sense a challenge in itself and you kind of like you get to the spot and you, you breathe you're like oh man I just made it am I safe or not and you get to the next button you kind of breathe and then you kind of like look around and there's like little interesting things going on like oh there's, there's meats and there's little visuals and the characters are doing like weird little animations of things in the background so you're, you're having a chance to absorb what the game is feeding you the, the time wax mechanic doesn't quite let you do that fully, although I think it's a pretty cool mechanic. Um, it makes you kind of blitz. Blitzing is your best strategy. So I think that works better for a a, a more of a adventure or action -y kind of game, like a platformer or something. Um, horror games, you, you generally, I think, have to keep it a little bit slower, slower pace. But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching me play John Wick. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.